madman. You're a madman. No, I've chosen my words carefully. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy. This is madness. This is my nipple! What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and YouTube has responded to the backlash about shadow banning PewDiePie's channel. It is my opinion that they are likely, or were likely, testing some things. Did they want to test what it was actually like? Do I want to go full black pill and say that they were testing to see how long it would take people to notice? They were Maybe they were testing how it would affect views if they if you i don't know none of this makes sense because pewdiepie is in good standing with youtube from what i can understand uh they pay him to stay exclusive on youtube and stream after he got paid by dlive for a while to stream there which also was just acquired by uh bittorrent i think um so good for them i guess uh None of this is making sense. So initially yesterday I reported of the shadow banning, which is exactly what it was. He was removed from search and his sub notifications were not being sent. He responded and then um, he responded and then YouTube gaming also responded. So as of right now, we can see when I search PewDiePie, which is different than yesterday, uh, his channel shows up. All right. And you see two of his more recent videos. But if we go to his channel, we can very clearly see uh, that you have 97, I'm sorry, less than half, less than half of the views. He gets 4.6 4 million, 5.7 million. Yesterday was two. So probably, let's call it a third of the views. Not only was it hidden, but no sub notifications were sent now i'm subscribed to pewdiepie so if i go to subscriptions right now i see pewdiepie's latest video from four minutes ago so it appears that they have quote unquote fixed the glitch one of my all-time favorite um one of my all-time favorite movies might be my probably my favorite um of all time might be office space and there's this scene with uh, Milton Wadhams um, where he had been fired but still receiving a paycheck. And so then they just fixed the glitch. And all of a sudden, you know, he wasn't getting a paycheck anymore. And, and then the joke was and then he would just, you know, be fired and it all works out. Um, but here we go. If we look at the tweet from YouTube Gaming, we're hearing reports that PewDiePie's channel and some videos are not surfacing within searches. We are currently working to fix the issue. We are sorry for any inconvenience. It's my opinion that YouTube knew that this was going to happen. They're definitely testing something. I've talked to another YouTube channel uh, called Liberal Hive Mind, which is obviously more partisan than YouTube's gaming content. However, they're seeing the same thing where their videos aren't showing up in search anymore. I can look at when my videos send notifications, they do okay. I used to do okay when I uploaded videos that weren't sending notifications because they would still show up in search if it was like a trending topic or something like that. But I've noticed a big dip, maybe... 100,000 to 150,000 views a day uh, I've lost. And my overall impressions are down within YouTube search. They've absolutely instituted a new upgrade to the search algorithm, which apparently uh, is sending traffic somewhere else. If they're not sending traffic to its independent creators, where do you think they're actually sending traffic? So of course people reply, while you're in there, can you fix it so smaller channels appear more? They said there are several factors that in fact search and discoverability across various pages on YouTube. Search rankings and channel and video discoverability are algorithmically generated. For tips and tricks, try this. Wow, thanks for the tips and tricks. The most important, um, the most important tip and trick to be uh, to show up on YouTube is to be a uh, mainstream media, to be a lazy uh, late night show 
writing their millionth Orange Man bad joke. By the way, uh, last time I'm going to remind you all is uh, today is the last time I'm going to remind people before the contest ends. There's a link in the pinned comment below where you can win a uh, Xbox Series X. All you have to do is be subscribed. I'm pushing forward to try and reach 1 million subscribers by Christmas. I'm unlikely to do so now. I've fallen a little bit behind based on what's going on in search. But let's try anyway. If nothing else, you get a chance to win a sweet $500 video game console. And you get to subscribe to me, which makes me happy. And I think that's nice too. You can see I didn't get notified when he uploaded today. Only found out through Twitter. See, here's the thing. It, it's, it's, I believe that it was targeted to his channel because not only was it removed from search, but notifications didn't send. That tells me that it isn't just an algorithmic change, that it was actually targeted at PewDiePie. They were actually testing something on his channel to see what happened. And it cost him, by the way, 3 million views. I've never had a video get 3 million views before. Uh, with, I imagine if you're PewDiePie, you're probably, um, that's probably tens of thousands of dollars, I would imagine. I, I, I guess I don't even know. I, I probably will never have a video that popular. Uh, but I believe strongly that they were testing something on, on PewDiePie's channel and it could have been shadow banning or even worse because kicking off notifications and removing you from search is worse than a shadow ban because at least with that, if you like follow me on Twitter, if I'm shadow banned there, you still see my tweets. I'm just not a search suggested. This was an outright quarantine. They quarantined his channel. And you can see YouTube working to quote, fix PewDiePie channel issues. Rumors of an apparent shadow ban of YouTube's biggest individual creator started swirling today following reports of the strangeness surrounding PewDiePie's channel. When viewers attempted to search PewDiePie's channel, uh, it would not appear. Videos in the top results also tend to be from a year ago or longer. Finally, Shelberg posted to his community tab of his channel, stating that his latest video apparently wasn't going to sub boxes. Shelberg did not return request for reply or uh, reply, uh, request for comment. Of course, he didn't. Now, if we look today, um, it's got 65,000 views in 10 minutes. It's probably double that because usually this lags behind. So it's going to be, I'm not sure that it's necessarily fixed. Um, you can see with the community tab, even that only 26,000 interactions. The community tab didn't work either. Look at this one from two weeks ago, 360,000 interactions, 230,000 interactions for an ad. Okay. 407,000 interactions. Here's this community tab from yesterday, 26,000. So it didn't send that out either. This was an outright quarantining of PewDiePie's channel. And there's no other way to spin this. It's not an alleged thing. I mean, why wouldn't, why, I don't get it. Like, why would, I thought everything was supposed to be going uh, well between him and YouTube. Did we miss something? Now, rumors started spreading that uh, social media, that PewDiePie had been shadow banned. But what does that mean? YouTube has denied these claims. There's nothing to deny. He was actually worse than shadow banned. He was quarantined. You could, you could only get to his content if you went to his channel directly. And, and for some there, the content wasn't even showing up. Why are they doing this now? Well, it's election season. And we knew, as we've already seen with Facebook, that big tech censorship was going to ramp up. I'm going to use this moment to remind you that all of my alternate social medias are in the comment or in the uh, description below. And I hope that you'll follow me on Parler. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter or if you follow me on Minds or wherever you need to, uh, make sure you find your favorite creators on alt tech. And if they're not using it, you should be uh, reminding them that uh, they should be. Um, uh, PewDiePie's channel can still be accessed by searching his name, scrolling to find a video made by the creator, and following the video's link to the channel. That's a much slower process than simply typing his name. Now, I'm actually going to give it 10, 15 minutes here and see what we see in terms of views, but I can tell you at least his latest video showed up for me 
Um, and I would say getting 100,000 views in the first 10 minutes, that's probably going to uh, lend uh, some credence to it being fixed. Although I still greatly suspect exactly what glitch it was that targeted one channel and removed their notifications and removed them some search by accident. Was this a rogue YouTube employee who didn't like him? You know, like we saw with Twitter? With, uh, I think, with Trump? Was that Trump that they tried to remove off Twitter or something? It was a, just an accident? I don't know. I think there's more to this story than we're being told. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope today will be the day you subscribe. There's a little red button right below. Click it so you stay updated, notified every single time I upload. Maybe we'll talk to you again real soon.